anaerobic what? Anaerobic digester. It is um, a device, I hate to say device, it's really um, a system that takes organic waste such as manure or poop uh, as it's commonly known. Uh, it could take table scraps, anything, uh, grass clippings, leaves, uh, bone, uh, leftover meat, anything that's organic at all. And what it is, it's a, essentially a cow's stomach, uh, only a much larger scale. And it fills with bacteria, and then you put all this stuff in it, and that bacteria grows, and you remove all the oxygen from it, and that bacteria really thrives without oxygen, and it starts producing methane. So the little bacteria, they, they start eating all that waste, and as they, they fart methane, uh, and they, <laughs> I hate to kind of keep using the bodily fluids, but uh, uh, they vomit uh, what's called digestate, which is a really awesome fertilizer to us. Uh, it's garbage to the bacteria, but it's really good for us. And so uh, what this all means is you have bacteria that are consuming and then digesting the digester. Uh, part of anaerobic digester. Uh, they digest all this organic waste that we would normally just be throwing away or putting in a landfill. And it's done without oxygen. And that that's the anaerobic piece. That's what anaerobic means, is without oxygen. So uh, it, we really have some high hopes for this particular digester system. Uh, what we want to be able to do is run a generator uh, with the methane that comes off of it, uh, heat the building, at least partially heat the building, because that would take a lot of methane to heat that whole building, uh, and then also convert my truck to run on natural gas. And we're really excited about it. So let's get into the actual build and go back in time, back to this last summer, and see how it all comes together. I think you might like it. Sit back and enjoy. Okay, so here we are. Uh, excavation. Uh, did it in a tiered section. There's going to be two levels. The first level down is about seven feet, uh, actually sorry, six feet, and then the very very bottom of this hole here is actually down about 12 feet down into the ground. Um, here we are building the frames where we're actually going to lay a foundation to put the digester stomach which is on the right hand side of the screen as well as some storage tanks uh, sadly, uh, the ground gave way. You can see uh, two areas there in the frames where the dirt actually fell in. So it's no big deal. We could actually backfill it. Uh, it got cement delivered. Uh, it's a way to go. Uh, boy, oh boy, does it save you, save you quite a bit of time. And there's going to be lots of cement in this particular project here. So I'm down there. There's actually a 2x4 down into that cement that... You, there it is, you can see it. We're actually gonna spin that and rotate it around so we have a concave uh, bottom to this digester so material can actually kind of come down into it and settle. Uh, there's a cement truck. Yeah, and got the tractor there in the background. Cement company is really nice, they really helped me out. So here I am uh, starting to move all the cement around. Again, you can see that two by four uh, down there. We're actually gonna move that all the way around it took me about two days on the backhoe after work uh, to trench out to dig out and excavate this entire area uh, quite a bit okay now we actually have the digester stomach uh, it's a multi-piece frame it has an inner frame which you can clearly see here and an outer frame and then you pour cement uh, in between it now one of the things we learned when doing this is that it really wasn't meant to be poured as quickly as what we could so we actually had some hydraulic lift um, in this and we had to really slow down the pour so if you ever build one of these uh, make sure you go slow uh, here it is we actually have the inlet and the outlet now uh, put into it you just kinda cut out some wet cement ones there and put those pipes in and I'm uh, dedicating it to my father uh, he's really the one who helped inspire uh, us to build this system for off-grid living. So we miss you, Dad. Uh, 
here we go. You can see I had to kind of tear apart the frames and rebuild it because the uh, dirt gave way there. So we're going to do that. And now we're building the neck on top of the digester. And the neck is actually where gas is going to come up from the stomach and it's going to be stored inside of a, a tank that you'll see coming up. Now here's a picture down in the bottom of the digester. It's quite a ways down there. You don't realize it until you get down there like this. Um, this particular frame was actually pretty easy to put together. It had a quick release uh, locks and really, really nice. So here we are. Uh, we actually need to uh, put together, uh, not put together, but coat the inside of the digester uh, with sealant so that liquid can't uh, go out uh, through the cement. And that, that was actually really, I'm really, really happy I did that because we had some problems elsewhere where I chose to kind of cheat and not do it. So if you're going to do this, make sure you seal the cement. Uh, it took us about two or three coats to really uh, make me feel like we had it sealed. And then we did a water test uh, just to make sure uh, that all the seams held water and it did. Um, here's a, here's a close-up of what's going to eventually be the inlet uh, where manure is actually going to come down. And then here is it, uh, the tube goes all the way down the bottom. The idea there is you have to get manure to go all the way down. And then once it gets across that bottom lip, it floats back up to the top. Uh, back filling. Nothing like digging a hole so you can fill it back in again. Always fun. Uh, but it is nice to get things backfilled. So here we are backfilling so we get that dirt integrity back. Uh, and the neck is ready to pour. Got some bricks on top of it to help with that hydraulic lift. Got lots of diesel sprayed all across it so it doesn't stick very well. You can look in the background there and you can see actually all the frames from the stomach just sitting there. There they are. Yeah, so we sprayed those with diesel as well if you've never done it. Uh, diesel actually helps keep the cement from sticking, but for some reason the cement still wanted to stick. Here we go, we got the pads poured. The pad in the far back right corner is actually gonna be for liquid storage or digestate. The pads on the left hand side are gonna be for uh, methane storage. So between the neck, which you see here fully poured, there's gonna be two more necks. Uh, they're not really necks, they're just storage tanks, but you can use the same frame and not have to uh, build something special. Uh, you're gonna see that how it's gonna store. Okay, here we got the inlet on the right and the outlet on the left hand side. And the inlet is where the manure will go down. That's just big old culvert pipe. And now we're looking down the bottom of it. And it was a pain to seal around the culvert pipe to cement barrier. Uh, that seam between the two is really difficult. Uh, end up getting a bunch of rubber spray and sprayed it all down there, a whole lot of it. I think it was like four cans uh, to make sure it all really sealed up. Um, I was hesitant to use cement sealant just because I didn't know what I was doing so I, hindsight I probably should just use that. Okay here we go rather than uh, putting the neck together again uh, and having the cement company come up multiple times which would have been very expensive uh, we decided to pour the neck at the cement company uh, where they have a nice flat surface they have everything right there is a lot less expensive for the pour and then they're just going to crane it in and we're going to use a really awesome substance called mastic uh, and put it at the bottom of it to seal uh, the the uh, the storage tanks to the cement pad that they're poured on and the only thing I really regret here is I didn't do the best job leveling that cement pad I was going quick I didn't really care because it was gonna be you know hey this is just gonna store methane it's no big deal and it did work uh, but if I would have taken just a few more minutes uh, to really level it all out, it would have came out a little bit better, so kind of regret that. Yeah, here's uh, all the storage tanks are in, the neck is in, uh, the digestate tank is in, and now we're starting to backfill some more. Uh, you can see there in the background we got the solar posts actually are put in as well, so when you're going to pour cement like this, you want to get as much cement poured in a single visit as you possibly can to keep your cost down, so we poured all of our cement in like two days. Uh, to get it all done. Okay, this is an important part. Uh, 
we're down inside the digester and I'm actually stringing up PEX piping that connects to the heating system of the entire building and the idea is that as these little bacteria eat stuff they like to get warm they, and they like it warm so we need to be able to heat uh, this system as well as take heat off of the system. Oh yeah, here we are filling it. Ooh, that was fun. Uh, lots of wheelbarrows to get the initial uh, fill in. Anyway, so we got that PEX pipe is going down in there uh, and it's circling around inside to move heat around. Uh, here we can actually see the neck. We're starting to cover it up. Those are cement lids. There we go. They're all covered up. And water can actually come up in between those as well as gas. So now we need a way to capture all of that. Uh, we're going to actually end up putting a dome over the top of it. That dome is uh, underneath that really nice brown water. And you can see where we have the methane tap on the, the top. And so that methane, there's a nice shot where you can kind of see this is the storage tanks. That methane just bubbles up uh, from the bottom and it goes up into that the primary neck storage tank. And then it's distributed to these two additional storage tanks which gives us about 250 gallons of methane storage that is going to be slightly compressed. Um, I just put plywood over the top of these and then I covered them up with plastic uh, to help keep the rot down because uh, it is pretty humid. So here we're digging a trench uh, all the way from the barn out to the digester itself and this was after the fact. I had a problem with loading the digester and the problem is that that main inlet there in the bottom left hand corner we filled it full of manure and it just floated it would not go down and I pressed it down I made some like plungers that all went, went down there I actually lost the plunger into the digester so went through a few different plans and we looked at extrusion we looked at screws um, kind of conveyors and the best thing that we can come up with is a grinder pump so here we have an IBC tote and we're actually, I bought uh, an, a sewage grinder pump that grinds up you know, on their advertisement. It grinds bras, it grinds jeans, it grinds everything, but it doesn't like to grind straw. And they told me that, but I still had to buy it because it was the only option available. So it grinds up everything and sends it through that two inch main and it goes down now. Uh, down deep into the digester and I ran it and it works. The pump is going and you can see that water flowing and if you do little little scoops of manure at a time the pump keeps up with it just fine but we've got quite a few animals and you know you need to load that tote up. That's my horse toilet by the way. Uh, hello world there's a horse toilet uh, and its premise is exactly the same. We actually pump digestate up from the digester underground, uh, fill this up, fill it full of manure. There's the pump coming out of the digester, by the way. And then we actually uh, fill the toilet and then turn the pump on and pump everything out. So uh, there's a little shed for it. And uh, that's the problem that we have. So let's talk about that a little bit more detail. So yeah, I built that little shed over the uh, horse toilet uh, just to keep the rain and the snow and everything off of it. I'm really glad I did. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video tonight and we're going to do a part two tomorrow night and actually kind of go into the um, the workings, why, why we needed to have the horse toilet, kind of what the issues were, why the poop was floating, uh, kind of talk through that. I'm also going to show you... Uh, don't want to let the cat out of the bag too much, but that the digester works. So I want to show you a way that you can truly see that the digester is pretty much a homesteader's dream come true if you can get the thing to work right. Uh, and I'll leave it at that. So, hey, everybody, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, we really appreciate that. And subscribe. And if you hit that little uh, notification icon to the left of the subscribe button, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian. God bless you all. Thanks for following. Take care.